I want you to see is the first solid red bar that occurred in this recent move to the downside. There are two very important things that this red bar accomplished. Number one, the move up before the red bar produced a failed attempt to take out the prior peak. So draw a line across the prior peak. Draw a line from left to right across the prior peak. All right, so the, the most recent move up failed to take out the prior peak. That's number one. Number two, the red bar drop eliminated a chunk of green. Right. So draw a horizontal line under the bottom of the lowest green bar, not the tail, the body. So what this red bar does is eliminate or crush or un, it undoes, reverses green. It is at that point that I just, I just hold the sell button down and get as much as I can. Like that. A lot of people ask me, Oliver, how many shares do you do? trade when you trade. So I don't have a set amount. I have ranges. So when I'm, so I know how much to hold, how long to hold down the key, right? More or less. Never I'll be specific. So I'll hold down the key and I'll, I'll hold down the key like this. That's about four to five thousand shares, right? But if I hold the key down like this, that's like 8,000 shares. If I hold the key down like this, that's like 10,000 shares. So I know, especially with Apple more than any other stock, I know how, how long to hold down the key, my hot key, to get in a range. Four to 5,000, you know, seven to 8,000, 10 to 11,000, like in a range. So there's never a specific amount because I don't know exactly what I'm going to get in that price range or how fast, it depends on how fast the stock is moving as well. So I trade ranges. Small is around, you know, four or 5,000. Medium is around seven, 8,000. And heavy is 10, 12,000, you see? Now these numbers are all relative. So for instance, light for you could be 200, medium could be 300, 400, heavy could be 500. You know, it's just, I always trade with three ranges. And I think most traders should have three ranges in their trading. You should have decide, you should have already decided what is light to me? 200 shares. What's medium? Three to 400 shares. What's heavy? 500 shares is heavy. Like that, it should be predetermined. And so you should have already situations that you have labeled opportunities that you have labeled light medium or heavy opportunities so for instance a bull 180 is a is a medium to heavy opportunity it's it should never be a light opportunity you know so you should have a few opportunities where you know before it actually presents itself to you this is a lot. These are light. This group of opportunities are 
light opportunities. This group, this small group is heavy. This one or two, these are heavy scenarios. You know? So for me, I typically have regular and heavy. And I decide on where to do the heavy. Sometimes it's a medium heavy and sometimes it's just a pure heavy. This was a pure heavy to me because of the dual aspect of the failure and the reversal. So the failure and the reversal of green, they're both they're both confirming each other. It would be a medium if the move went to a new high and then eliminated green. That's different. I'm missing an element. I'm missing the failure. So I have the new high, but I also have the elimination of green. So the new high is bullish. The elimination of green is bearish. I've got conflict. I'm playing that medium. But if I have the failed new high negative and the elimination of green negative, I have a match. Tell me if you understand this. Matches get played heavy. So, guys, look at this one. Look at the this most recent move up, right? See this most me recent move up? This most recent move up broke above the last peak. So draw a line across the last peak. Right? So here you you we 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 made a, a new high based on the last peak. But we have red eliminating green. So that's a medium. This is a medium because you have a mismatch, right? You have bull move, but bear reaction after the bull move. You can give it a shot, but don't give it a shot heavy because you've got a mismatch. Failures and the elimination of the opposite color create matches.